When the eclipse happens next Monday, April 8th, students at one small Indiana school are going to have a very unique view that few others will get. The astronomy class at Eminence High School is one of just a few dozen groups working with a specialized telescope. Our Chuck Lofton checks it out. What's terrifying about this part is that you completely unhook the telescope from the stand to move it back and forth to balance it which is the scary portion. That is terrifying. <laughs> Eminence High School teacher Cedric Weinschenk Good. applied for a grant with the Citizen Kate 2024 project and got it. Hit enter on the zero position. The project is funded by the National Science Foundation and NASA. For these Eminence eels, the program and the telescope are just the beginning of a new scientific journey for the school. Part of what they want is a community outreach part. And so we'll also want to do some like kind of nighttime observations where we'll open it up to the public, invite some of the elementary school um, kids out. Um, we might try to do some projects during the day where we actually bring the um, elementary school kids out and then my students will then talk to them about the sun. And so dark now that all of the lights with sensors in the parking lots have come on. I actually got to see the 2017 eclipse with Mr. Weinchek. Take your glasses off. Oh my gosh, look, oh, at that. look at that. Now he's looking forward to sharing that with his students. For lack of a better phrase, it's out of this world, right? Of that, <laughs> there's just nothing else that you experience like it. And so I want them to get that experience, but then also being able to contribute to some really new science. Students in the class excited for this once in a lifetime experience. And to actually be able to see it um, while it's happening and have some sort of connection to it is really uh, interesting to me. I think that really just puts us out there. I think it's a great opportunity for us that we wouldn't normally get otherwise as such a small school. The sun will be blocked for a while April 8th, but when it's over, the sun will shine on those watching the eclipse and the future of science in Eminence, Indiana. The students are going to take the telescope down to Eastern Green Middle School for the eclipse, and there they're going to be seeing the sun during the eclipse in a polarized light, something not done before. And another really cool bonus here, the students are earning dual college credit by taking this class. And don't forget, you're going to be able to see Chuck and Lindsay on the day of the eclipse. That's next Monday at the State Fairgrounds. There's going to be live music, food and games, lots of activities. You can also, if you want to just stay home, you can join us here on 13 News. We will have special special live coverage for you in the afternoon starting at 2.45 p.m. We have details on both events and a lot of others around the area <laughs> for you right now at WTHR.com slash Eclipse. And I guess the number one question I'm getting right now yeah. is what are, are we going to be able to see it? Is that cloud cover high or low? Is it going to impact? Well, we still think if we end up with clouds, it's still going to be dark during totality. I mean, we are in the path of totality, so we still expect almost four minutes of darkness, whether we have a thin layer of clouds or not. Okay. So don't don't freak out. I, I know we've been a little busy today to talk about eclipse <laughs> weather. Tornadoes. But, right, but we, we do have it in the seven day. We mm -hmm. are including a few clouds and at this point a slight rain chance. But again, it's early. We've got several days to kind of fine tune things. Yeah.